Hey guys, I noticed that sometimes people wonder how to get surround sound from their computer to their home theater system. I'm going to show you my surround sound setup in my house, which is 7.1 as you can see here. And I'm using a Yamaha receiver. And we're going to look at how I have connected this using HDMI. And there's the receiver. Now, um, HDMI can come from your laptop or it can come from your desktop PC. We're going to look at both in a moment. Uh, quick disclaimer first, obviously in order to do this you are going to need HDMI enabled hardware. You're going to need a computer that has HDMI, you're going to need a receiver that has HDMI, and uh, you're going to need the cable. You should also have ideally a screen that supports HDMI. I just turned it off. We're going to turn it back on later. Uh, just for the receiver, this is the RXV661. It came out in 2007. So even a 10 year old receiver, uh, you know, is going to be fine uh, with HDMI. And, uh, you know, even I'm, I'm sure there's receivers that came out before 2007 that support HDMI as well. Now let's look at the back panel of my desktop PC just to show you the HDMI outputs that I have back here. So this is the HDMI out of my graphics card and then uh, even if you don't have a dedicated graphics card most modern computers are going to have an HDMI output that just comes from the straight from the motherboard so it's going to be built into the computer. So again, you're going to need an HDMI cable that you connect to uh, your output here and you run it to your receiver. Um, in this case, you know, my HDMI cable right now goes from the laptop to the receiver and we're going to look at the back of the receiver now. So the HDMI cable is going to land back here. Now let's stabilize this a little. There we go. You can see DTV. CBL. This is the, the, uh, the HDMI input that I have connected my cable to. My receiver has another DVD, uh, HDMI input, it's called DVD, and then it has an HDMI out, which has a second HDMI cable, and the output goes to my screen. There it is, right? Cool. Now, let's turn this thing back on, and we're going to see uh, the computer is going to recognize the uh, second screen that comes uh, that is connected to it through the receiver. And it's just going to take a moment. While this happens, you heard there was a noise from the computer and now the screen comes on. I'm going to talk to you about HDMI. Uh, one thing you need to know, I said earlier, you might not necessarily need a screen that supports HDMI, but it's better to have one. Uh, because HDMI by default always sends audio and video signals. So if you connect an HDMI cable to your computer, you cannot tell it to just send the sound and just send no, no video signal. So if you don't have a second screen connected, your video signal is just going to end up in the receiver. That's where your video signal is going to go. Uh, but you know, the way this is set up right now, what the receiver does, it uh, gets an HDMI in and it takes the audio and plays it back and it takes the video and sends it through to the screen. So if you don't do that, you have no screen, then your computer is going to think that your receiver is actually the second screen. And then um, there's still going to be, for the computer, there's going to be a second like desktop and you might, you know, you might move your mouse here and then it just goes out on a second screen that doesn't exist and you, you need to bring it back, right? Uh, also, sometimes if you open the software, um, the window is going to open on that second screen. But since the screen isn't there, you're going to have to move the mouse somewhere into the void and try to fish for the window and bring it back. It's basically just a pain in the butt. So I recommend that you use an HDMI screen. Again, you know, this is 2017. Everything supports HDMI and nothing is really that expensive anymore. So you can totally just get a screen that supports it and you're going to have HDMI and you're going to have surround sound through your home theater system. Now, we're going to now have a quick cut and then I'm going to show you how to set this up in Windows and also how to set it up in Ubuntu, which is a Linux distribution.